Hey friends, it's Tracy. Welcome to today's video. I am so excited to share this. A Savior is Born Nativity craft with you guys. This is the true meaning of Christmas for me. And I am so excited to share with you how I made it. Now, this was part of a uh, an event that I did on Facebook. So I am, was crafting in real time and uh, kind of showing you what I was doing. And uh, But make sure and stay till the end because I'm going to show you how I put on the finishing touches. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. Hey guys, my name is Tracy and I craft here at Country Charm by Tracy. I am so, uh, I've been looking forward to this event for ever since Sweet Tracy Campbell uh, posted, you know, the event. And I was like, ah, I can't wait to sign up. And so I am so glad that so many friends are here. Uh, my name, like I said, is Tracy and I craft at Country Charm by Tracy and I love craft around the clock. Guys, this event has been so fun. I can't wait to go back and watch all of the creators. And so I'm so honored and blessed to be able to be with you all. The information is in the pinned comment, the link to craft around the clock and all of that good stuff. All right. So, um, it has been an amazing, the, the creators that I did get to see, I am so, you know, just, I'm so blessed to be with so many sweet, sweet friends. Anyway, so, uh, in true Tracy fashion, um, I did prep a little bit because guys, I put a lot of steps or a lot of things in a lot of thought, a lot of stuff into my creation. So let me tell you what we're going to start with. Well, this is going to be the star of the show. Of course, this is the true meaning of Christmas. Uh, this is, uh, you know, the little holy family, the nativity, uh, you know, with little baby Jesus and, you know, Joseph and Mary and in the stable and little baby Jesus is in the, um, manger <laughs> in the manger so i'm going to show y'all what i'm going to be using for that so for my little nativity what i'm using is one of these little ornaments from my favorite store hobby lobby hobby lobby is my favorite store and so uh it is one of these little ornaments that you can get in the uh, like Christmas craft section, the nativity ornaments. Now this pack had three in them. So, um, you know, I'm, I, I think I bought these last year, last season. So let me take one out because I did prep a little bit because I only had 30 minutes to craft. So I had to, you know, get it in gear. So this is what I'm starting with is one of these little bitty manger ornaments. Anyway, so the, uh, the next thing that I'm starting with is this frame right here. Uh, this frame right here. Now this frame I got, I can't remember. It doesn't, it didn't have a sticker on it. I don't know if I, I think I got this at Walmart. I loved it because it has the like wood grain on it. And uh, I don't think it was Dollar Tree. I think it was more like Walmart. And so it didn't have a price on it. So I wasn't sure exactly what we're going uh, or where I got it from. And so um, I'm going to go ahead. I do I do stream uh, my live streams through my Mevo camera. So I have two now. So I have one that you could see me. And then when I get into the craft, then I'm going to show you my table. So this is what I am going to be working with today, guys. Okay. All right. So I'm so honored and blessed that you are all here. Uh, like I said, we are doing the Away in a Manger craft event with uh, Craft Around the Clock. So we have 30 minutes to craft. So I did prep just a little so that I could get into the fun part. Cause you know, it's kind of like, I didn't want to spend all of my time watching paint dry. <laughs> that is a no fun. And I should have, I said, oh, this'll come out. Um, so anyway, so I'm gonna show you what I'm going to be using and kind of the method that I did. Uh, and so I love, now I love, you know, all of the, you know, cute Santas and all of that stuff. But I know, you know, the true meaning of Christmas is all about the birth of Jesus. And so I always try to 
I'm, gonna, I'm just going to get rid of that paper. I always try to remind my kids that when they were little. My oldest son actually uh, has a birthday uh, December the 30th. And so, you know, we always try to, um, you know, keep his birthday and Christmas separate. And it's kind of like we would have a birthday party for Jesus. And then we would have a par birthday party for Skylar, which he's going to be 26 now. So <laughs> we don't have to do that anymore. But I do remind my eight-year-old grandson that Christmas is not just about Santa and gifts and stuff, that it actually is about the birth of Jesus. Okay. So what we're going to start with, what, what, I, what my idea is, guys, is just to make a sweet little frame. Now this frame uh, or this backing has the kickstand on it. And so I like to have little things like this that I can set on a shelf or in a bathroom or actually give as a little gift and, you know, something that you can give. And so this is just the true meaning of Christmas for me. So what I, what I want to do first, I want to show you, um, <clears throat> what I'm using, I threw the, 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 paper away. But what I'm going to do is actually use the glass as well, just to, for stability or just something because this backing is a little flimsy. And so, um, oh, I use this glue. I was going to say, what glue did I use? So I'm just using my, uh, just some glue and we're not going to see this. So I don't have to be like perfect. So I'm just going to just put this on like this, like this. I'm going to kind of uh, set that to the side to dry just for a few minutes so that I'm going to show you what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, just kind of whitewash the um, uh, frame just a little. That was one of my you know, ideas when I first got these frames and I've had these frames for a couple of years. Again, I think I got them at Walmart um, and they weren't that expensive. Maybe, you know, two or two ninety nine or three dollars, two ninety seven or three dollars, uh, something like that. And they were they're very good. They're not flimsy. And so um, I just want to just dry brush. That's was the word I was going for. Not whitewash. <laughs> <laughs> just dry brush, uh, dry brush this just a little and it's, it's more, it's not wood, but it has like a wood grain look to it. And so it, I think they are plastic. Uh, so we're going to, we're good. We're going to just kind of dry brush this. That was the word I was looking for. Dry brush. Anyway, so I am so honored and blessed that you were all here. If there's any uh, comments, questions, uh, or anything like that, I won't be able to keep up with it. If any of my sweet friends are here and they know the answer, I would love it if you guys would, you know, answer any questions. Thank you for welcoming any uh, new folks or welcoming any of my friends that have been here for a while. I so appreciate you. Okay, guys. So. This is what we're going to do. I pulled out some of my homespun fabric, of course. Love me some homespun. Now, every time that I do uh, a primitive country project or any kind of country project with homespun, I get messages or I'll get a comment to say, where do you get your homespun? And so I find the, uh, I get the best luck at Hobby Lobby, of course. And then um, another place is Walmart. Now Hobby Lobby has more of these um, plaid patterns and that kind of thing. But another place, guys, that I have found is jubileefabric.com. They have tons and tons of uh you know, homespun fabric. A lot of us creators that use homespun fabric and homespun, if you're not familiar with it, it, it is more of the, it has the same pattern on both sides. Uh, it doesn't have that back uh, that white backing like usual they they would that, you know, fabrics would have. And it's more in the, uh, sh um, 
It could be in the stripe or the plaid or the check or the gingham or anything like that. So what I'm doing is just taking my, just a all purpose glue stick. I just want to just get this to tack down uh, a, a bit. I'm not going for perfect. I'm just going to give you ideas. <laughs> uh, again, I'm just making a sweet little uh, frame. This is uh, some stuff that I've already pre-prepped, but I'm going to show you how I did that. I am on my segment of uh, Craft Around the Clock, and this is the Away in a Manger uh, event. And... I just, I'm just so honored and blessed that Tracy put this together because it is just, for me, it's the true meaning of Christmas and I just love it so much. Okay. So, you know, we can't stop there. We can't stop there. <laughs> no, no, no. So we have to add just a little bit of grunge. Uh, now, if this is not your style, again, I am just really, uh, just giving ideas for, let me see, giving ideas for, um, just for other, you know, just to give ideas for gifts for your home. Like I said, I have a little frame like this that I have had in my bathroom that, that I have just a little saying, and, and probably this one will go in there this Christmas season. I'm just taking Mod Podge, just regular Mod Podge and then a chip brush. And I'm just putting some Mod Podge on there because I'm gonna put some coffee on there. And I did uh, make me a batch of Sweet Tracy Campbell's grunge mix that we're all using and completely forgot about it this morning. It's like, ah, you know, once I thought about it, it was too late. So what I'm doing is I am just taking uh, just some instant coffee. This is just one that I got at my local grocery store. And every time I do a video and um, people see the people that live in Texas and that are HEB shoppers, they're like, oh, do you live in Texas? I see the HEB label because it's the HEB, the, the store brand. I'm like, yes, I do. If you don't know, I live in the um, town of Brenham, Texas, home of Bluebell ice cream. Brenham, Texas. And of course, I didn't put my gloves on again. <laughs> and I have them right here so I don't get my fingers all messy, which I don't mind. But then if I touch something that I don't want the, you know, grungy on. And what this does is just, it just, it smells really good. And if that's not your style, then, you know, we totally understand that. And so then um, just putting a little cinnamon on as, whoops, a lot of cinnamon on <laughs> now let me let me oh when, when it's all said and done let me put my my gloves on <laughs> let me put my gloves on okay um i can't really see a whole lot of the comments um hey jennifer morning from Bryan, texas that's right you are right down the road from me sweet lady i'm thinking about going over there tomorrow i gotta go to sam's and um maybe hit their Hobby Lobby over there, even though it, um, I have a Hobby Lobby here and oh, there's really a lot. Um, in my hometown, yay. Uh, I have We have the smaller one in uh, College Station, which is right next door to Brian, actually has a bigger Hobby Lobby. So, you know, sometimes you just need a little, I got a little heavy on the cinnamon. So what I'm gonna do is kind of, mask that a tad and put a little bit more coffee. My uh, youngest son, who is 16, uh, actually got his first job there uh, in, in our HEB and he started out as a bagger. And so he actually is enjoying it. I'm just shaking this off into my trash can. Just shaking this off a little bit. Okay. So I just wanted to kind of give a little highlight up here at the top for my little, uh, my little nativity. That's kind of what I was going for, just like that. Okay. <clears throat> so again, if you're just hopping on, I'm just using this frame right here. This is from, um, I think from Walmart. I think I got that from Walmart. And so um, also I think what I want to do I just thought about it. I think I want to put a little bit, maybe I want to put a little bit of 
one here. I don't know if it's going to work. We're going to try out. We're going to try it out. We're going to. I was about to do it again. So anyway, my 16-year-old, um, um, he's a sophomore in high school, and he he was playing football all through junior high, and then um, he was going to play football again his you know, he did freshman and then he was going to do soft, uh, sophomore. He had signed up for it. Well, he just, you know, over the summer, he was like, mm, I don't want to do that anymore. And so, um, that was the sport he was going to play. So his dad and I said, okay, that's fine. If that, if you don't want to play, that's fine. We're not going to make you, but because he's my child that you can, you can encourage, but you cannot make him do anything. And so, um, we told him, okay, fine, but you're going to get a J-O-B. And so that was at the beginning, you know, of the summer. And so we, you know, didn't, you know, school had started and all of that stuff. And then he said, I think I'm going to apply at H-E-B. And, you know, my husband and I were like, uh, for real? Okay. Because, you know, he's 16. And so he, you know, he's my kid that, you know, he's always had everything, <laughs> you know, because just technology and all of this stuff. So anyway, guys, um, what I, what I did is I, um, take one of these little ornaments. Now these ornaments I got at Hobby Lobby, my favorite store. And what I did is I had already stained it with my antique wax and the baby wipe. You know, just because I only have 30 minutes, so I want to make sure and get everything done, okay? So I just stained it. And so then what I did, guys, is I took just for, uh, just to kind of bring out the the black in the, um, the homespun, what I did is I took one of these pieces of cardstock. Now, this cardstock, it's color block. And so I'm thinking that that is a Walmart brand. I don't know for sure, but it's just a book that I've had for a while. And this uh, cardstock, it's tuxedo. And so it has this white core on it. It has the white core on it. So let me get another little sheet because I want to show y'all what I did because I love this so much. All right. So just for time purposes, I'm going to just tack this down. I can go back later and paint it or I just want to, hello, I need you to cooperate glue stick in the uh, glue gun. Okay. So what I did guys is I just put it on this, the piece of paper. And then I um, remembered that I had, I uh, had got some of these friction pins. Now the first uh, creator that I saw use this and it, um, and it worked wonderful is, is sweet Teresa Crane from Jeremiah Dreams. And uh, she uses this all the time. I know some other creators do, but she's the first one that I saw. Uh, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's brilliant because you can like trace out and then it disappears. So I got this off of Amazon. They're called friction clicker pen. And so what I did is I just kind of went around it and I'm not sure if, if it's showing up on the camera, but I kind of went around it just, um, not close, but kind of off, off to it. Yeah. You can kind of see on the camera. And, um, so let me tear off a little bit more. Let me, so that I can just tear off what I need. Okay. So then this particular cardstock, like I said, I got it at Walmart. It's the color Bach or whatever brand. And so then I just tear it and it, and it exposes this white core, which I like. I like that. So thank y'all so much for joining me today and for all of us guys. So in the pinned comment uh, is all of the information with um, what, you know, the link for Craft Round the Clock. Uh, there are creators lined up to go every 30 minutes and uh, there's a new creator. All you have to do is refresh your page and the next creator will be there. So that's all I did. And I didn't put any distressing or anything like that because I liked 
that the, um, I like that the, you could see the white and it kind of, you know, offset it. It kind of, um, it didn't blend in with the back. I, that's what I was going for. So this one I already did. Again, I'm just using, I got the little ornaments from Hobby Lobby. And so that's what I got to do. Now, what I've done also is kind of hand letter this. Y'all know if you've been following me for a while, you know that I love uh, my hand lettering. And I just used my Posca pen. Now this one is, which one is this? This one is uh, the PC1M. That's the size that I use. And I just put my little happy dots on the end. So that's what I wanted to do. I didn't want to, you know, waste my precious time uh, to just um, you know, painting, watching paint dry. I wanted to get, get the fun stuff. So what I'm using here is just some of that thick, it's the 5M, uh, I call, I still call it fun foam, but it's called Silly Winks now. You can get it at Hobby Lobby. It's the thicker, it's the thicker, and I like to use it for some dimension. And so, um, that's why I, I use the uh, glass because I'm I'm going to put the glass back in, but I'm going to put it um, in, you know, it's going to be part of my decoration. So I'm going to put that in so that I can get my placement. Oh my gosh, guys, I love this so much. This is the true meaning of Christmas, and I just love that uh, sweet Tracy decided to do this in Craft Round the Clock. So I may put that up there. I was going to put it right there, but I don't know. I may put it up there. I don't know. Let me see. So what I, I do like to add a little bit of dimension to my projects just to pop them up a little. <clears throat> so if this is your first time seeing me, I have um, been crafting for a long time and um, I love to share crafty ideas with a bit of rustic country charm. That is my kind of my tagline. And so people are always finding me on uh, either uh, Facebook or YouTube. Uh, YouTube is where I started um, back a long time ago. And I am just so grateful that so many sweet friends have, they follow me on YouTube or either on Facebook. What I find there is, it's it, each one is their own community each one. And so I'm just so appreciate each and every one. Hello to all of my um, fellow craft around the clock sisters, everyone, anyone that's in this event today, or that is in any of the events that Sweet Tracy has planned. So what I did also, guys, is I just hand lettered a Savior is Born. And then I um, just did the rough cut with the uh, cardstock and just, you know, tore that. And so then what I'm going to do is I want to put that here. Um, <laughs> yep. I just like, I like dimension. I like a little dimension and I'm not quite sure how much of this is going to adhere. I will, I promise I will go back and answer any comments that um, some of my sweet friends weren't able to answer or didn't see. And so when we're on a, a time schedule like this, I don't want to, I, I want to be mindful and I don't want to. Um, so this is kind of, gosh, guys, just love this. Love this so much. And so. Then I pulled out some different fabrics to add, you know, just a, a little bow. Nothing that too over the top because I want the focal point to be this right here because this should be the focal point of our life. And I try to, um, but every single day I fail, uh, but I do try to have him the front, you know, front and front. The first thing I, the first thing, the first one 
I talked to in the morning, the first one, I think, the last one in, in the evening. So what I have here is I have some cheesecloth that I coffee stained and also got that idea from Sweet Tracy Campbell because, you know, she is our primitive country, um, rustic, grungy sister and is showing us all those wonderful primitive country crafts, which I have loved for so long. But then, you know, trends change, things kind of change. And then it's like, oh my goodness, I don't, I forgot that I love that so much. So what I'm doing is just cutting off little pieces of it just to add for my bow. I tell you these little 30 minute segments just go by super fast. So then I have some of this fabric also. Now I think I got this, it was, oh, this is longer. So I must have bought it off of the, uh, you know, off of the, off of the bolt, probably at Hobby Lobby, <laughs> Walmart or something like that. So I just want to just put a little, uh, just a little bow. I don't want anything too, too over the top. Thank you uh, and welcome to any and everyone who is new. If this is your first time uh, seeing me or seeing any of my fellow creators in this event, please give us a follow if you would. We would, you know, so appreciate that so much. And uh, then I just have some muslin. I was going to have all of this stuff done. This, see, this is a little tedious stuff that, you know, you're like, ah. It's like watching paint dry. I love me some ripped fabric. So I love me some ripped fabric. So again, the link to uh, the event is in the pinned comment for whatever for some reason I could not post in uh, the actual message. Uh, if you're watching this later on the replay, I will go back and make sure that all the information is in there. For, but for right now, when you're watching, if you're looking for the information, it is in the pinned comment. So um, for whatever reason, I couldn't, I could not pin it. Well, that's pretty good. I did pretty good. Might not have to trim too much. Sometimes I, I pull it a little, um, a, a, a little bigger. Put that up. Oh no, here. I like this. I use this a lot in my crafting as well. This jewelry cording. It's just this thin cording that you can get in the jewelry section. And so if you've been, um, you know, you'll, you'll see, and you'll hear me use this a lot. I like to use it because it's thin. It's like hemp cording. And so, um, I'm just, I just made a simple bow. Please stay together. <laughs> Cause usually when I do it like that, I like lose my loops and then I'm like, Oh my goodness, Tracy. Oh, but it worked. Yay. So I'm just going to put that, you know, it just kind of adds just a little extra, so I just want to tack this right here so that I can show y'all the, and of course I will take pictures and post them on my page, share them into the um, craft around the clock group. And so this right here, if you don't know what I'm using here, um, this is just a little mask tool that you can get at Dollar Tree in the makeup section. And so um, a lot of us creators have been using that. And so I just assume I wasn't telling people, well, what this is? Well, because uh, I've been posting videos on YouTube. And so a lot of people may not be familiar with it. But anyway, it's just kind of helps with the hot glue. These work great. It's like a little silicone mask tool. So you can get those at Dollar Tree if you're not familiar with that. My goodness. Yes. Okay, 
I don't know if I, if I want to put some, I, my thoughts where I was going to put some little Excelsior down here. Cause y'all know I love me some Excelsior. And then also I had some of these I was going to kind of put, I don't know. I don't know. My time is almost up, but I will continue to play with it. And oh my goodness, I love this guys. It just makes me tear, tear up a little bit. Again, um, all of the creators can be found by clicking the link in the pinned comment and you can watch all of the creators in the Away in a Manger uh, event going on sponsored by Craft Round the Clock. So anyway, thanks guys for watching. God bless you. We will see you in the next video. Okay, thanks for joining me today. Okay, um, I decided to add more Mod Podge and grunge, coffee grunge down here at the bottom. It kind of looked a little off on this particular, you know, decor. So I'm just adding a little bit more Mod Podge. Then I'll go back and add some of that instant coffee as well as the cinnamon, just kind of uh, using some gloves so that my fingers don't get so messy. Uh, and just kind of pushing that coffee in there and that it kind of like melts into the fat fabric. And so I just love primitive country crafts like this. Uh, again, I was just sharing for ideas, you know, so please, you know, take it and uh, change it to your decor, your preference, you know, something that you like. And I just so appreciate so many friends joining me and recreating, you know, putting their own spin on uh, the ideas that, uh, you know, me and the Lord come up with because without him, I would not be doing this. All right. So then, you know, I, I, almost at the end of the video, I had said I wanted to add some Excelsior. So I decided to go ahead and do that. And so I like to get my Excelsior from Hobby Lobby. And so I just take a few sprigs of that and just add it there at the bottom. I didn't want it to be overbearing, but I wanted it to, you know, be enough so that it kind of uh, had the whimsiness of it. I also decided to add some behind the A Savior is Born sign. And so, uh, you know, sometimes less is more, but also I love my whimsical touches. I also decided to add just a little bit of touch of pizzazz by just adding some glitter. And so I'm just using my spray adhesive, just spraying, uh, lightly spraying it, not to anything too heavy, and then using the uh, diamond glitter. Uh, from Hobby Lobby and so I just kind of sprinkle that on and then later I also go back and add a little bit of glitter to the sign and as well as to the uh, stable you know and uh, the nativity as well and so you know sometimes uh, when I'm creating it just kind of uh, kind of comes to me as I I don't really have a plan I guess you know just I kind of create as I go along. Guys, if you loved this video, you may like to check out my other uh, Nativity, Holy Family, uh, a Savior is Born crafts that I have here on my channel. I love creating this uh, crafts like this for the true reason for the season. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate your continued support. God bless you. We will see you in the next video and Merry Christmas.